Hello, and welcome to this lesson on scalars and vectors. Now, this lesson is going to be extremely quick because all we need to do is just jot down a few definitions. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. So, like I said, we're going to have some definitions, and primarily we're going to have two definitions. The first one here is we need to define what a scalar is. Now, a scalar is a quantity whose value can be represented by a single real number. Right. And the important thing here is single real number. So for example, basically any number that you've dealt with kind of in your day-to-day -day life is almost probably a scalar value. So for example, a body falls, a distance L, right, that L is a scalar. Or if it falls for time T, right, that's also a scalar. So scalars are just single valued numbers. Next up is a vector. And a vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction in space. So the important things here are magnitude and direction, and also space. Right? A vector can exist in n-dimensional space, although in this class we will primarily deal with vectors in two and three dimensions. Our next definition, so we've got scalars, vectors, and third, we will have fields. So a field is defined mathematically as some function, that's the important bit, some function that connects some arbitrary origin to some general point in space. Now we can have both scalar and vector fields. Now a scalar field might look something like this in two dimensions, x and y sort of numbers plotted out on the field, you know, sort of like a temperature map on a, on a weather map. You know, numbers sort of laid out on a field like this, this would be a scalar field. Now a vector field looks a little something like this, x and y. It's going to be vectors laid out in the field, so we usually use arrows to represent these guys graphically. So you might get something that looks like this. And vector fields are amazing because they let us sort of view the directions that things are moving in space in a really sort of easy to read, easy to understand sort of visual way, right? It's not hard to imagine, you know, some object here sort of moving through the field like that. So that's all we've got for this lesson. Like I said, it's gonna, it was quick. All we needed to do was get a few definitions, and in the next lesson, we'll start to put these together and do some vector algebra. But if you have any questions, uh, please let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Thank you.